So there are tons of different sizes of chainsaws out there today. And uh, if you're looking for a chainsaw, you're probably thinking what size chainsaw is the best one for me? Or if you're like me, you just think I'm gonna go out and buy the biggest chainsaw my money could possibly afford for me at this time. And that's the best chainsaw for me. But I wanted to go over chainsaw sizes and explain when you might want a different sized chainsaw just because I don't think that buying the biggest chainsaw you can possibly afford is always the smartest solution. And it's actually a, kind of the wrong idea of going about picking the right chainsaw for what you need it for. What I have here is kind of an arrangement of chainsaws. Most of these are all different sizes. Uh, some of them are only moderately different in size, but uh, I'm gonna get into uh, what, why you might choose uh, one of these models over the other one. These are all Craftsman and Husqvarna chainsaws, two of my favorite brand chainsaws. I would say that uh, Husqvarna is my favorite. If you had to take a step down, I would get a Craftsman. Still is supposed to be better than a Husqvarna. I really think that for the dollar difference between a Still and a Husqvarna, you, you might be very impressed with the power and performance of a Husqvarna. So first up I have the Husqvarna. This is a 235E series. I've, I often call this a 435, big difference. It's mine, the chain is off. I think every time I put this on a video, the chain is off and that's because I need a new bar for this chainsaw. I need a new bar and chain. This is my go-to chainsaw. I use this saw more than any other saw that we own. I use the heck out of this chainsaw. I've had it for about uh, nine no, 11 years, more than that, a little over 15 years. And this chainsaw is just, uh, it's an incredible little chainsaw. It's only a 14 inch blade. It is lightweight. It has plenty of power, 30 cc's of power, I believe. 34 cc's. Because it's a smaller chainsaw and it has a smaller blade, it's a lot easier to hand, handle. And uh, with, with the amount of power that it has, 14 inch blade, I have taken down some very large trees with this chainsaw. A lot of times out here on the farm or ranch, whatever you want to call this place, we call it a ranch, um, I have to cut things that are either over my head or in an awkward position. And this chainsaw, I feel comfortable being able to maneuver in awkward positions to cut things and be able to maintain control over the chainsaw. This is a very good chainsaw for most people. Most people probably think that they will get more use out of a big hardy chainsaw than they will their small chainsaw. I use this chainsaw more than any, any other uh, piece of equipment that I have because of its size, its torque, and its abilities as a lightweight chainsaw, uh, you really are gonna probably use something this size more than anything else that you can get. So your money is best spent on a chainsaw this size. And if you have to cut down a larger tree, um, this chainsaw can do it. I think with a 14 inch bar, you can go up to about 26, you may be able to push a 28 diameter tree. Um, I have actually gone a little bigger than that I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, you could hurt your chainsaw. I actually got the chainsaw stuck in the tree when I did that. It wasn't a good situation. This chainsaw can do the big, the big dirty deeds. And a Husqvarna, uh, this brand is just uh, fantastic. I haven't had any problems with motors with these. Um, it's a fantastic brand. The next chainsaw that I have here is a Craftsman. Uh, this is a 16 inch. This one's Still got the wrap around the handle, it's brand new. If you wanted something small, but you wanted a little more bar length and a little more horsepower, something this big, this is a 42cc with a 16 inch bar. Something like this is a great uh, homeowner saw. I would recommend either one of these saws if you're a homeowner or if you're just starting out on a property, uh, you'd need to have a chainsaw of this size. This would be my first investment. I would probably go with a, if I wanted a 16 inch bar, or 16 inch Husqvarna over the 16 inch Craftsman. That's just a brand preference of mine. I'm, I'm sure that, you know, Craftsman is a, um, it's an old brand, it's been around for a long time, 
but they don't make them the way that they used to. I do have an old Craftsman here that I'll, I'll get to in a moment. Moving up the line, uh, this right here, this is the 450 Rancher, uh, which is a great chainsaw. Um, the 450, I believe it has about an a 18 or 20 inch bar on it. Um, these chainsaws have plenty of power. If you're on a farm or a ranch, um, the 450 is a great all around chainsaw. It's got a lot more power than the 435. Um, it has a bit larger chain. So if a lot of your cuts are going to be larger in diameter, if you're doing a lot of firewood cutting, the Rancher 450 is kind of a good mid, mid range chainsaw without getting too big, but it does have a lot of power. So if you want something that's just a good mid size, mid ranged chainsaw, go for the 450. Again, I would start out with a small chainsaw and then try and get something a little bigger than the 450 down the road, but it, that could be difficult if you're cutting up a lot of larger pieces of oak to chop them for firewood. So uh, that is one of the things that I would uh, keep in mind. Are you buying the chainsaw to do a lot of cutting of large trees into smaller pieces for firewood? Or are you doing something, are you getting a chainsaw that is primarily gonna be focused on yard cleanup, uh, ranch cleanup? I use my smaller chainsaw for cleanup work more than anything else, um, but if you are looking for one saw that you can do the cleanup work with, you can cut down trees with, and you can uh, really work on firewood, uh, this 450 is a great mid-range saw. Now, I brought this one out. This is an old Craftsman 60cc. You could find these old 60cc's if you look online, if you search real well. The 60cc, I have it uh, as a little more powerful than the Rancher 450, but here's the deal. The, the, the older Craftsman are not going to have the RPMs that the newer models have. The 60cc has uh, 3.7 horsepower, which is pr probably pretty equivalent to the Rancher 450. You can put a slightly larger bar on it. I think this has an 18 inch bar on it. They, uh, they actually probably both have about an 18. No, I think the 450 has a 20 inch bar. It has plenty of power. It'll grind through some things, but it is not a fast cutter. Uh, and that's just, it's an older chainsaw. The technology is a little older on it. Uh, you have a lot of vibration and things, but Again, if you can't afford the 450 and you really wanted to have a mid-sized chainsaw that could handle a lot of work, these older Craftsman's, these older 60cc models um, are not bad chainsaws. They're just not as uh, quick to cut through what you wanted to cut through. Finally down here, I have a Husqvarna 460. Now this chainsaw is basically, I guess you could consider it a professional chainsaw, but it's still a Rancher series chainsaw. To give you an idea of the Ranchers, uh, which are about the 445s up through the 465s in the Husqvarna brand, um, these chainsaws are designed for large property work, which means you're doing a lot more cutting of larger trees. The 460 is gonna have a lot of power you can fit a 24 inch bar on here that's what i'm currently running on it it's just a, a very nice chainsaw if you have a smaller chainsaw to work with i don't need anything in between these two chainsaws the size of this chainsaw and its capabilities and the size of this smaller 235 and its capabilities allow me to cover everything in the range that I would normally want to cover. This 235 is powerful enough that I can um, take it with me. I, I take it out with me on the four-wheeler when I'm working on fences. I love the size of this thing. So this is my go-to everyday handler. This is for the larger things that I need to cut up. The reason why I don't use this one as much as my smaller chainsaw is just because the size of this thing, um, it's not always the safest chainsaw to use and I don't always need something quite this powerful and large. It, it doesn't make sense to me to make that kind of risk with a 24 inch bar spinning around um, when I can grab something smaller. But I got this chainsaw primarily because it's just big enough 
that I can hook this into a chainsaw mill and cut some of my own lumber, which we are planning on doing here soon. So we, we primarily bought this chainsaw to cut larger logs and put on a chainsaw mill. Uh, that is its sole purpose here on the ranch. Having the longer blade, the 24 inch blade, gives me a lot more teeth to get through a piece of wood and um, this has plenty of power to push that blade. So it just makes life a little easier when I'm dealing with uh, larger logs as far as cutting through them. If you're looking at buying a chainsaw, these are the size ranges that you're probably gonna look through and wonder, you know, what's the best buy for you? I would not recommend buying this 460 if you don't have a smaller chainsaw because you're gonna use the smaller chainsaw more than you do the bigger chainsaw, guaranteed. If you wanted one chainsaw right in the middle, go for the, uh, the 450 size range on the Husqvarna Rancher. That is a good um, middle of the line chainsaw. <clears throat> if, you, if you have the ability, I would go with a smaller chainsaw and then go with a, like a 460. Now, the, there are uh, professional sized chainsaws, chainsaws that are larger than these. The price tag on those jumps substantially from you know the rancher series unless you are an arborist who is working on trees every day i don't think that you need to have anything much bigger than a 460. the 460 will take down some very large trees it's just not going to like to do it all day long which is why i have this 60 cc craftsman is if we are cutting up and doing a lot of work i can give one a rest and switch them out so to, to summarize this up, um, if you have the money, a good combination of chainsaws to own would be the 460 and something like the 435 E series of Husqvarna. If you're a homeowner, you don't have a lot of land and you want a good mid-sized chainsaw, I would go something with the 16 inch Craftsman that is plenty big enough for most homeowners. If you are a larger farm owner and you couldn't afford to have two different size chainsaws on hand, but you needed something that was a good all around chainsaw and uh, somewhat safe to maneuver, then I would definitely stick with the, uh, the Rancher 450 uh, versus trying to go up to the 460. It, the 460 is not gonna give you the versatility of use that you would want that you can get out of the 450 without having a smaller chainsaw in your back pocket.